This is Google Glass. Right now, it's the most hyped gadget in the world. And that's because Google thinks it heralds a new generation of wearable computing. You put them on like this, and this screen that you can see above my right eye looks to me like a monitor that's sort of 25 inches in size. It offers the whole of the internet's knowledge. You tap on this here, you say, OK, Glass, Google what the French for hello is. It tells you up there, it speaks to you in your ear, through your skull. This is a new generation, Google hopes, of wearable computing, where rather than a mobile phone in between you and the people that you're talking to, you've got all the world's information in this screen right above your eye. The idea is that it changes our relationship with computers and with the internet. The aim Google say is that this will be a consumer mass market product. At the moment, just a few thousand explorers are using it and it costs $1,500. But if next year when it goes on sale, it's just a couple of hundred, this could be, in maybe a different form, the new mobile phone, as ubiquitous as every bit of technology that we see in every pocket, now a piece of technology that you wear and that you almost don't notice. Campaigners say privacy is a huge issue, but in fact, this isn't recording all the time. It defaults to 10-second videos. What it's more likely to do is create a new kind of etiquette for how we and technology integrate those two different factors into our everyday life.